Today, we're going to be making cocoa brownies. Begin by washing your hands and preparing all of your ingredients. You will need 3 fourths cup unsweetened cocoa powder, 1 and 1 fourth cup sugar, 1 third cup all-purpose flour, half a teaspoon salt, 1 teaspoon vanilla extract, 2 large eggs, and half a cup or 1 stick of butter. Let's begin. Preheat your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit, then place your butter in a small saucepan over medium heat and stir until the butter is fully melted. Allow the butter to cool slightly. Next, we'll move on to the dry ingredients. In a medium bowl, combine your sugar, cocoa powder, and salt. Then go ahead and mix all of your dry ingredients together. Next, pour in the melted butter while continuously mixing the batter that is forming. This recipe mainly utilizes physical leavening agents. Air is incorporated into the batter by mixing the ingredients and steam is produced during baking due to liquid that comes from the two eggs, which we will add soon. Mix in the vanilla extract, and then add each egg one by one while vigorously blending after each addition. Although this uncooked batter is looking delicious, it is advised that you wait until the brownies are done before taste testing. The batter contains raw eggs, which could potentially be contaminated with a bacterium called salmonella. Once the batter has been cooked to at least 160 degrees Fahrenheit, you should be good to go. Then mix in the flour until it is just incorporated. When flour is mixed into liquid, there are two proteins that come together and form gluten. Further mixing aids in gluten development, and too much gluten development will result in a product that is more bread-like in texture. Scrape the batter in an 8 by 4 inch loaf pan that has been lined with foil and sprayed with non-stick vegetable oil spray. Be sure to also smooth out the top. Bake for 25 to 30 minutes or until the top begins to crack and an inserted toothpick shows a few moist crumbs. One method of heat transfer that's utilized in baking these brownies is conduction, which is the transfer of heat directly through contact with the heating surface. In this case, the heat is transferred directly from the loaf pan to the brownies. Once the brownies are ready, let them cool in the pan, then remove from the pan by grabbing the foil and cut the brownies into as many pieces as you'd like. This recipe makes up to 16 squares. Serve and enjoy.